So my name's Dan Barry. I'm the general manager at Smart Tech Australia. We've been lucky enough to engage one of the greats of the, uh, of the rugby league fraternity, obviously, but also one of the greats off the field in um, workplace health and safety in Shane Webke. Shane, thanks very much for being a part of the Smart Tech team. When you asked me, it was an easy thing um, for, for a number of reasons. Okay, yes, I'm, I'm into the workplace health and safety, which I know is, is completely aligned with your business, but I'm a farm boy and I love machinery. There's never going to be a substitute for a better culture of safety and a better operator who understands safety and the, and the need to focus and prioritise better decisions based on safety than that operator. Like there's just, there's, there's, no, there's no substitute. That's what I bang on and that's why we're a good fit in terms of me being part of this business is because workplace health and safety is aided and abetted by procedures, rules, technology, but nothing, nothing replaces the diligence of the operator. Yeah. And what these things must be seen to, as you just alluded to, is they are tools to aid and abet. They are not, they are not, you can't, and you would agree with this, you can engineer all you like, you cannot engineer the danger out of a dangerous job. What we've seen benefit some of our clients is that you know, all right, that operator might be very diligent on site for a certain element of that safety awareness. There might be an area where another operator might be better and, and what this has actually done it's giving them a, a chance to collaborate a bit more and you know you can actually you can actually see the impact of that so you can say right well this this person doesn't realize necessarily that they're going you know this close to a hazard every day when they're going through their, their normal routine of, of operations and once again stuff that you can't see yeah. when you when rightly you're in your office doing your work and run the business you can't be out holding everybody's hand so yeah. anything that, that points out these things, to, to nip, nip them in the bud, if you like, 100%. it's a valuable tool. Exactly. And so what we sort of wanted to, I guess, bring it back to with the Cool Balls guys here today is we're going to be talking fundamentally about the loading of trucks. I mean, the industry has changed around that loading of trucks in, in our view, from what we've seen our customers, how they operate since that legislation of chain responsibility has come into, come into power. And what we're probably talking to today for the guys here at Cool Balls is how they've adapted and how they are utilising the load right system as now a safety tool as well as a productivity tool. Well, why don't we go and have a look at what one of these things actually look like? Yeah, and we'll uh, have a chat to maybe one of the operators, have them walk us through it, and then we'll look at how that system actually impacts change. Sounds good. How you going, mate? Good yourself? Not too bad. So I believe you're going to jump up here and show me this load right system. Yeah, I'm going to jump up there and show you how to run it. Beautiful. Let's do it, mate. So tell me how the load right system works. How it works in, in terms of what, what you know and see and what and how it helps you, and then of course helps you load these trucks correctly. Right, eh? Well, pretty much there's, there's a certain amount of products you need. You ask the truck driver what product they want. Yep. Put it in the system, just press the buttons, and then um, you have to find out what customer they run around for. Then yep. you uh, put down the customer for it. Yep. So, so therefore a truck comes in, you know the customer, you know the material. Do you then understand, can you then know yeah. automatically, it knows yeah. what you can put on that truck? Yeah, it's, it's all put in the system. Like you uh, ask the rego of the truck and then you put the rego in, then it comes up with all the weights and everything you want on the truck and then pretty much just jump on the ball and load it. Which effectively means you cannot put more on that truck than what's put, meant to go on there. No, you can't put more on the truck than what they've it's put in the system. If it's over a little bit, you just shake the bucket up a little bit yep. and put it back in the truck and then it's pretty much spot on. It's probably the easiest system I've run. Right. And I've run a couple of them, so. Does it make you feel better though? Because ultimately, in one way, with this way China responsibility works and all the rest of it, you're in that too. Yeah. So you must feel a whole lot better that you have this backup yeah. that says, no, best practice is that we have, we've, we've had the trucks tear and weight and all the rest of it. Yep. That's all in the system. I've loaded exactly what that system told me. It then prints out your docket, job's yep. done. Yep. That it, must make you feel better. Yeah, it makes me feel a lot better. It makes me feel comfortable that I know what I'm loading on the truck and I know I'm not going to get hit with a big fine from like the transport department or something yes. like that. Like I know I'm in the right, yep. truck driver's in the right company's in the right everyone's and right. everyone's in the right so then no one gets hit with a big fire. that's why we use load right yeah and that's why we use road, load right you can't buy that stuff <laughs> you cannot buy that can you you and i should go we take this on the road mate <laughs> so you load the truck and all the rest of it yep. but then you have this this physical piece of paper yep. 
that, that proves exactly what's just happened. Yeah, um, we print out the dockets. Um, most of the time we usually just give one to the truck driver and we keep one for ourselves. Yeah. And then if they get go to the weigh bridge or something, they can blow the like, scalies, pull them up. They're just like, here's the docket for the weight. Yep. And then they can't really get a fine or anything. So, so in terms of chain of responsibility, you have the absolute proof yeah. that that truck was loaded correctly. Exactly, we've got proof here. Truck driver's got proof. The company's got proof on the computer because it all comes up on there and then, yeah. No one gets hit but also it. having the, f the physical piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. Like it exists then, doesn't it? Like yeah, you can't like, get lost in a computer system. Yeah, exactly. We've got a physical piece of paper so we yeah. can't lose it yeah. or anything. So, yeah, pretty much that's all. You load the truck, dock it's printed. Yeah. But that, all that information is then stored on inside HQ. Yeah. Which means if down the track something does go wrong and that paper gets lost or whatever happens, yeah. you have this history. Yep. which talks about exactly what happened that day, exactly the, the way you loaded this truck and, and what was put on there and what wasn't. Yeah, we, uh, everything runs through the HQ, so say we got an incident three months ago, then it comes up and we're like, oh, we got all the physical documents from three months ago and we've also got on the computer for three months ago, so here's all the information and there we go. So in terms of chain of responsibility, it is a bulletproof record yeah, of exactly. exactly what happened that day. Yeah, exactly. Like. It's bulletproof. We can't we can't get in trouble about anything because it's all through the system. It's all physical paperwork. So yeah, we can't get in trouble at all. So. Which means you can't lose your job. Exactly. And we're all happy about that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I need this job. <laughs>